In today's video, is training early in the morning a bad idea? Hey guys, what's going on? Paul Ravella, ProPhysique.com, and I'm back with another video from my friends at Mass, the monthly application of Strength Sport. Link below, click it, purchase it. It's fantastic if you're interested in research, but don't have the time to look up all the research and see what's relevant to you. That's right, there's so much research out there, it can kind of be a lot of noise. And what's really cool about my friends at Mass, Greg Knuckles, Mike Zordos, and Eric Helms, they're taking the noise out and giving you a super sharp focused issue every single month. If you click on the link below, you can subscribe to it monthly, annually, whatever. But if you're interested, like I'm interested, in knowing a lot of stuff that's related to exercise science, the physique sport, well, this is going to help clear up a lot of that. It's gonna start the discussion and it's going to promote better information in the future. So thank you to those guys. And let's talk about today's article, which was done by Mike Zordos. The basic topic is if you train early in the morning versus in the afternoon, what would the outcome be? Would there be a difference? Now, as the article states, there was a previous study in 2013 that discussed this exact thing and it was done for 24 weeks and it showed that the group that trained in the afternoon actually had a little bit better hypertrophy. So when they reviewed this, there was already some literature out there discussing that and my information as a coach that I've always given has been that training in the morning is fine if you allow yourself to adapt to it. And what's cool is there was some there was some benefit showing that if you train early in the morning, that this study it was done at 6:45 versus 3:15, that there would be an adaptation period, okay? In the morning, you have what's known as a neuromuscular deficit to start off with. And I think we can all account for this. When you wake up first thing in the morning, if you run into the gym at that time and you're not adapted to that, you're going to have a little bit of trouble. And from my own personal experience, a few years ago, I was in contest prep. My schedule changed. My work schedule, I had to be at work at noon and work until midnight. So I had no option to go to the gym at midnight, right? I had to go before work. So I would get up and go to the gym about 6.30, 7 in the morning, work out, shower at the gym, and then go to work. Well, let me tell you, the first day or two was miserable. I think, you know, when we hear the term circadian rhythm, we think of, you know, what our normal day is like, what time we normally go to bed, what time we normally get up. I'm very much a night owl. I usually stay up till two, three in the morning, right? That's just what works for me. So when I was forced to do this change, I immediately disliked it. The first day, I felt terrible. The second day, I felt terrible. But by the end of the week, I noticed something. I had great workouts, and I also noticed that the entire rest of the day, I felt great. Something about getting up, Getting my workouts done allowed me to feel less stress throughout the day. I had more energy throughout the day and I didn't have to think about the fact that I had to do the gym, right? So when you, when you place the gym at the end of the day, all the things that come before that can kind of mess up your schedule. And it got me thinking, if it ever comes, push comes to shove, I can definitely do a morning gym schedule. So an interesting thing of note that I found was within this study that Mike reviewed, there were three groups. There was the morning training group, the evening training group, afternoon training group, and then there was the control group, which actually did nothing. So they actually compared hormonal profiles of the groups and found that, of course, the group that trained, both groups, had about equal changes in hormones. So there was an increased testosterone uh, ratio, and there was also a decrease in cortisol compared to the control group. Well, for anyone that's familiar with cortisol, that's stress. So. It's nice to see that, yes, if you train for 11 weeks, whether it be morning, night, whenever, just get in there and do something, you're gonna see a reduction in stress. So let's talk about the overall results of this study that Mike reviewed. The results were there was zero difference in any measure related to muscle hypertrophy, whether you trained in the morning or whether you trained in the afternoon, which I think is a distinction that as a coach, the recommendation that I have always made is get in the gym and do your work at the time that a best allows you to get it done, okay? Train at a time that fits your lifestyle and schedule. 
Don't train in the gym in the evening just because you feel like you might do a little bit better progress because if it comes down to it, if your schedule and stress and willpower come into play, there might be days where you just miss a workout. Whereas if you are a morning person and you just get your workout done first thing in the day and then you don't have to think about it the rest of the day, for some people, that is exactly what they need. My friend Mark Loblanner notoriously trains super early. I've stayed with him before. We got up at like five, eight, we were in the gym by six, done working out by eight. And I will say, when it's all done and you have the whole day to yourself to do other things and not think about the gym, there is a benefit to that. You know, my lifestyle is set up such a way right now where I can get to the gym between three and five, four and six, those hours. But with another baby on the way, business is doing well, you know, my coaching business, uh, I also have coaches that work for me. So there, there is a schedule that I have to keep right now and it may come down to the fact that this gym right here at 6 a.m is where I get shit done at. I don't know yet. Right now, my schedule works great, but it's nice to see that there's a little research behind this information. And yes, you can train in the morning and keep making your gains. Hey guys, tonight I am doing, Thursday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, me and Lauren Conlon are doing a Facebook Live, Instagram Live, answering all your questions live about business. If you're interested in what I have to say or what Lauren has to say, how we started our businesses, how we maintain our businesses, how we grow them, what we do, what our thoughts are, guys, we are not the greatest entrepreneurs in the world, but we have created successful businesses and a lot of people ask questions. So if you're interested in any of that, not selling you anything, not giving you anything, just free information from us to you. So uh, it's a question that Lauren and I get a lot. So we thought we would just take out one hour of our week this week and um, we're gonna do a podcast today. Maybe the podcast will be on business. So our podcast will be out tomorrow. But tonight, Facebook Live, Instagram Live, one on my phone, one on hers. Hopefully you guys can join us and uh, ask us some good questions and we'll get them back to you. And I um, hope you guys have an awesome Thursday and uh, getting warmed up for the weekend. And I hopefully my friends in the uh, Chicago area don't get that blizzard that it looks like is coming. All right, guys, bye.